Hi guys, welcome to SA Technical. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add a custom secure boot option in UEFI BIOS for your operating system. And also this guide will help to fix no boot device error after installing operating system in UEFI mode. So let's take a closer look at the procedure. At first, press Ctrl Alt and Delete key combination to restart your computer. If this doesn't work, then press and hold down the power button for 10 seconds to completely shut down your computer. After that, power on the system and immediately press F2 or Delete key to enter the BIOS. The BIOS key may be different in your case, so please check the manufacturer information for the BIOS key. At first, make sure Secure Boot option must be enabled. If not, then go to Security tab. Now you need to set supervisor password. Use the down arrow key to select set supervisor password and press enter. Type your new password and press enter. Retype your password and press enter. And again press enter to confirm. Once done, go to boot tab and select secure boot option and press enter. Now select enabled and press enter. After that, go to security tab. Now press the down arrow key to select the option, select an UEFI file as trusted for executing and press enter. Now select your boot drive and press enter. Select EFI and press enter. Select your operating system and press enter. Select this cmx64.efi as trusted for executing for Ubuntu and press enter. Now type the name for your Ubuntu boot entry. Once done, select yes and press enter. Alright, now press F10 or go to exit tab to save configuration changes and exit from BIOS. Again go to BIOS. Go to boot tab. Now select and move your created Ubuntu boot entry up out of the UEFI boot order list to set as primary boot priority order. Once done, press F10 or go to exit tab to save configuration changes and exit from BIOS. Now your system will be reboot and you should be able to boot into Ubuntu. And I hope this tutorial will help to fix no boot device error. Well, as you can see that our Ubuntu is successfully boot in UEFI mode. And also this method works on other system as well. However, now let me show you by adding a new boot entry in UEFI boot order list for Windows 11. At first, restart your computer and press F2 or delete key to enter the BIOS. Now go to security tab and select the option, select an UEFI file as trusted for executing and press enter. Select your boot disk and press enter. Select EFI and press enter. Select Microsoft and press enter. Select boot and press enter. Now press the down arrow key and select boot mgfw.efi as trusted for executing for Windows 11 and press enter. Now type the name of your Windows 11 boot entry. Once done, select yes and press enter. Alright, now press F10 or go to exit tab to save configuration changes and exit from BIOS. Once again go to BIOS. Go to boot tab. After that, select and move your created Windows 11 boot entry up out of the UEFI boot order list to set as primary boot priority order. Once you complete the steps, press F10 or go to exit tab to save configuration changes and exit from BIOS. Now your system will be reboot and you should be able to boot into Windows 11. Well. As you can see that our Windows 11 is successfully boot in UEFI mode. 
So I hope this simple guide was helpful for you. If you have any question, then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.